yo qué culpa. Mano, la chingada ya. While the relaunch was a success, unfortunately, no one is in the mood for celebrating. Certainly not Perla, and definitely not Chef Ramsay. Tonight was made more difficult than it ever had to be. Perla's not a leader. He's never going to step up to the mark of a head chef, ever. It's not rocket science. I know. No, Ethan. Over the next two weeks, I want you to separate the brigade, focus on the strengths, the weaknesses. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. That'll be good. Wonderful. Perla's strength isn't being a chef. And this whole scenario has brought that to light. And now it's blaringly clear that I need to do something about it. Laura, the future success of this restaurant is in your hands. If you don't extract out of her everything she knows about cooking, you're mad. It will never, ever work if you step backwards to your old ways. I won't do that again. Well, I'm going to run it like a restaurant. Good. Next time you come, you're going to see some staff changes. Promise me? I, 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 I give you my word. Come here. Stand strong and good luck. I've got one hell of a headache. Did we honestly take a caterer and turn her into a restaurateur? That question will only be answered when she finally decides on what to do with Perla and her kitchen team. What a nightmare. Holy Chimmy Changas.